Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a small tutorial on mass effects rigid body tutorial. So let's get started. So let's go take a plane over here. It's a very small tutorial. So I am creating this on viewers request. So let's just take a spear. So slightly just push this up over here. Convert to editable poly, select the polygons, delete this and let's give a shell modifier. So let's just assign a shell modifier. And convert to editable poly, slightly just push this up. Now over here. I'll take a spear, I'll shuffle this up, I'll reduce its segments over here and I'll assign a FFD cylinder modifier. So I'll go into this, let's just assign some shape to it. So select this, slightly just push this inside, so select this, shuffle it inside in this way and convert to editable poly. So many people ask me how you can create such kind of rigid body animation. So I am just showing you over here. So let's create, take multiple copies of it over here. Push this over here, press shift and take a copy again. Again, I'll shuffle this up. Select this all. Go into animation, mass effects, rigid body. Set as dynamic rigid body because it's going to move. Select this and this. Mass effects. Rigid body set as static rigid body. It's not going to move, so I'm keeping it as static. So select this, go down, take the shape as original, take the shape as original, shape, okay, we'll keep it as it is. So it's very clear. So go into animation, mass effects, simulation and play simulation so you can easily play the simulation to generate some animation over here so you have few of the things if required if you want wind you can assign the wind you can give some bounciness if required so again go into animation mass effects simulation reset simulation so again go into animation, mass effects, simulation, play simulation. So I can just give this animation. So once it is done, go into animation, mass effects, simulation, step simulation, I'll just hold it over here. So your animation is clear over here. So if you click on this bake, it will put it over here on the keyframes. So you can generate such rigid body animation over here we have also seen cloth also in this if you want to go with cloth you can assign a cloth also so let's keep a cloth on top of it if required so i'll go over here i'll select this
so convert to editable poly play simulation so you need to give that before simulation play simulation animation mass effects simulation step simulation so i have just done step simulation over here okay once you select it it's again going over there so i can do one thing over here again i'll play Okay. Step simulation. So I'll take a plane over here. If needed, you can just take a plane. And increase this segments over here. Can make multiple copies. select this animation mass effects cloth create m cloth oops animation mass effects simulation and play simulation so we have already assigned that so i'll just undo this So what I'll be doing over here is like I'll again assign mass effects create m cloth select this mass effects static rigid body. animation mass effects static rigid body now animation mass effects simulation play simulation so now we can see how it's going to work over here so definitely we can add some stuff over here we can add some more segments mass effects cloth create m cloth mass effects simulation and play simulation so i can just go over here i can go into the free form option over here let's go into the free form option you have push and pull i can increase the size of the brush and i can slightly use this push and pull
All right. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section. So as you can see, we have gone through rigid bodies and M cloth. That's a mesh cloth over here. So thanks for watching.